Okay, people. So today I am joined by writer, director, producer, Tommaso Aquarone. Tommaso, uh, was that correct? Beautiful. Yes, perfect. It's ah. not that easy for, yes, but yes, it's Tommaso Lame. Aquarone. Thank you very much for having me, Kevin. Hey, no worries at all. No worries at all. So we're, we're going to... I talk about your new um yeah your new piece right it's um my eyes or uh, I I Mia Uchi how how would you... I mean, in Italian is I miei occhi ah I miei occhi okay yes. All right I, uh, my eyes which I will probably stick to because I can't butcher that so <laughs> but. Yo, I I watched this the other day and it's so fascinating. I it is so fascinating. And I think like there's a lot of information that we get just from like the conversation that is had, but then there's other things that we don't find out, but it doesn't really matter just because the way the story is conveyed. Now, where did this come from? How did you like develop this idea? Yes, um, yeah. And basically, I start to write the story, and uh, yes, uh, actually, I never understand where the ideas come from. But sometimes you start to think about uh, some dreams that you had and some things that makes you feel also uncomfortable and then you start to to write then i mix my personal let's say feelings my personal thoughts with also the structure of the um, of the tragedy and mm. talking about like um, like uh, la poetica i don't know in english the translation i think is uh, la poetica di, di from aristotle which is the, the structure of, uh, of the tragedy. And uh, I mix those two things. And in a certain way, I, I, I came out with, uh, with, the, um, with the first draft of this, uh, of this little, little, little movie that touched a lot of, um, in a certain way, yeah. Is in, also in my way of seeing the things is, uh, is um, kind of uh, contemporary tragedy in a certain way and uh, yeah and uh, yes i don't know if i answer well to your question but yes come from that then i really like to mix all the stuff with reality so with the um, with the actors that that uh, i found i literally found the, the male protagonist the juggler i literally found it in the street um, while he's, he's was, he, he was um, uh, having this, uh, this like performance mm. and uh, so I met him uh, and then we start to rewrite again I wrote another draft of the script based on his gesture based on his own way of living the, uh, some relations and, and yes and then, uh, yeah, I came out with another draft, and then, and then we, yeah, we shot the movie. Okay. Now, is that your usual type of process, kind of thing, or does it is it evolving? Would you say? Yeah, of course, it's evolving. I'm in a certain way. I'm really, I go in a certain way with. Uh, let's say with the flow because uh, it's, uh, I'm not that uh, I'm let's say it's, I'm 29 years old so I've done some project but uh, professionally let's say this is the, the first one and uh, then with my new with my new with my new movie I start from something that I I I had in, in this uh, in this project like start with uh, write something that is really related to me 
then mix it with the, with the, with the, with the structure and uh, and then go with the reality so so yes i really love to meet first of all the my my actor work uh, work with them and rewrite the thing and also before when i'm when i write also the first draft let's say the treatment when i write the treatment i really want to uh, put it in the yeah in the reality in a certain way so uh, my, i think uh, a lot of writer does that like um, mix it with the reality uh, do a lot of interviews uh, and go in the let's say in the in the fi- in the in the field of, of the story like mm. for example in this was really the street the yeah the the light uh, how do we say the the light uh, yeah and so stay in the in the in the reality that I want to that I want to talk about. Yes, this is uh, my approach for the moment, and uh, let's say let let's see what what will be the next one. But okay. yes, at the moment I yeah. Well, no, I I mean I feel it's working for sure. Now I'm I'm very interested because yeah I I read in um the notes that Anna sent to me that, you know, out the street performance, this is his first performance. So what was it that when you saw him that you thought, oh, he's going to be perfect for the film? Like, what, what, is, what is the thing that you see in people that tells you they could, you know, work in your project? Yes, uh, as I already introduced the the thing is like i was uh, yeah searching uh, for sure uh, the protagonist uh, the male protagonist of uh, of my story and uh, i was really going a lot with my car around uh, the city searching for something around the cities let's say because i shot the movie in genoa which is uh, in the italian coast is a really a port, uh, portugal city like a bit like dublin like uh, you know there's a big port uh, and, but i was uh, uh, like uh, uh, drive a lot also in the other northern city to to find a lot of jugglers at a, at a certain at a certain moment i was in touring and uh, i i met this guy i was uh, the scene was uh, really the the same of the of the movie, but um, I wasn't the you know the 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 I was in the in the in the same position of the protagonist uh, the of Xenia, and uh, I, I saw him and uh, I had uh, like I don't know this is my way of cast people I, I kind of feel something and I say okay this is the guy I wait a lot. I wait there a lot, and then I, I found the courage to, to talk with him. We talk, uh, and then we 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 start to to try together to fix the script, uh, as I told you, and then uh, we were we we spend like a month together before of the shooting, where uh, I where where we work a lot also to the movement uh, to the. He had really to use to the camera because uh, it was his first time with the with the camera with the, with the let's say with the with the professional but also non professional uh, movie. So mm. uh, it was important uh, to me and also for him to get used to a crew around him and uh, to the camera. And but he was really talented, so talented guy. So it was uh, kind of natural to let him used to the thing and then he gave me a lot also for the for the for for we with his gesture and for the yeah for the movie but this yes uh, this is more or less what 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 I've done with him and it was something that came to me like feelings that I had for him and then and then yes but it was more or less like that okay and why did you decide to go that approach rather than 
Yeah, I mean, just put out like a casting call for actors who might be able to juggle. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, because uh, in a certain way, for a moment, we talked about that because um, we got uh, some, we, we had the, I have to be honest, we had the OK from Xenia, which is the, the let's say, the, the, the woman, the, the, the main protagonist, and Xenia, Xenia Rapoport is a well-known uh, actress uh, here uh, in Italy. And uh, he had uh, he won the Coppa Volpi in Venice, uh, so he's is uh, really talented, but also technical. Really, really, really uh, incredible actress. And at this point, uh, I thought in my mind, is I I have this kind of uh, interpreter, but uh, will be good. To have uh, at the other way uh, a first-time actor with uh, no experience, but then I say I have to just follow my my feelings, and I thought at the moment that uh, this mix to have uh, Xenia and uh, and a first-time actor could be really good also for the movie because. He could uh, bring the streets, let's say, with him, and Xenia could bring the the rhythm, the yeah, the, the all the technical shoe, and also a, a huge talent. But I say I want to mix the thing. I want mm -hmm. to mix because we were in a car. I use a lot of the long takes, so also the rhythm issue is really important. And having this mix inside of a car, having the reality, the street. Here and then the read on the technical. I said, let's try. I think uh, I think could be really a good mix. So uh, at the end, I said I don't want to to cast anyone uh, for for this for this role. Uh, I have Farinha, which will be great. We 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 will work more. Also for me it was a uh, was. As I told you, the, the, the first professional experience. So, so we are going to learn together and we're going to do it. And so at the end, we, we, we finish this, but I don't know. I hope we, we have done a good job, but I'm not the one that has to No, no, like Tommaso, right? It, I think with a film like this, where the cast is very small, essentially it is just our driver and our performer. So the film now rests on those two people, right? And the performances that we get, it really does bring this situation to our life. You really do feel invested in everything that we see. So no, it, it feels like you've done a very good job with the casting, my friend. Th thank you very much, guys. Thank now, you. The filming as well, there's again, I've, as I said, look, I feel it, it really rests on these performances, but then how you decide to shoot it. Now, we're inside the car and it feels very intimate, like the angles, right, that you have decided to use and how close we are to, you know, our, our protagonists, like... Did you instantly think to yourself, this is how I want to film it? Or did you experiment with some different angles, some different distances until you kind of settled on this approach? Uh, yeah, I have to say that um, since I thought about this movie, I have the idea to, uh, to use this point of view to be really close for sure, because I really like to... Also now with the with the new one, uh, I'm not uh, in a car again, but I really really like to be close to the people. In a certain way, I'm really obsessed to the to the to the to the people more than the, the directors who really like the environment. Mm. I like the environment in, in in just in the way that can reflect the light to the people. I, I really I really. I love to be really close. So this is one thing. Then 
and I want to try to be in this position because there's a kind of true to reveal. There's something that she has to uh, to say in a certain way. There's something that for sure one of them don't, the, uh, don't understand in a certain way. So in my idea, the camera should never have to, to be in front because to be, to, to me, in my way of thinking, put the camera in front of the face of one of them was, okay, reveal something through the eyes because yeah. the eyes are the main thing. So I want always to be a bit hide because there's something that is hide, of course, to the eyes of one of them. So I want to play. I had this, this rule with my director of photography that we couldn't cross the this line. The the most of the, the movie is there, there, but never front. Mm. Just if he could realize the thing. But then we play a lot on the ambiguity. Uh, so I want to be to be to be there and I don't like to cut a lot. So also technically was let's say the, the only way of doing it, but was since the the first images that I had in my mind was that one, the point of view. Yeah, I, I, I think filming like that as well, you don't really get any hint of the thing that happens at the end. You know what I mean? Because as you said, if we're, if we're looking at the people, you might think, oh, I think something may be. But from the, your angle, yeah, you do not. Like, I did not see that thing happening. And suddenly it, we're in this intense moment and it was, it, yeah, it really heightened the action being, you know, shot the way it's shot. Yes. I mean, yes. And then, uh, yes, of course, is is an intimate uh, story. And um, so the intimacy was one of the first thing that we had to achieve, achieve because in, and also the the the, the, the car, the the, the, the drives you to to let's say to this intimacy. But uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of like were the restrictions from shooting in the car that you you know you you had an afford of, so you had to kind of adapt as you went on with this. But yeah, in a certain way, we, we we shot in Genova, as I told you, which is um, a really chaotic, uh, a really chaotic uh, city. So I wanted to do it real. To me, was really important was that the Xenia, the protagonist, that that she she had to drive the car, not with uh, like a, like a, with a truck uh, behind, yeah. like in the you know in the cinema. So to me was a part of my direction. Let's say she had to feel uh, like the, the the struggle to drive the car because it was the struggle that also she she had with the, to say the the thing, you know. So uh, this way of doing the things uh, like for real in a certain way for the for the production uh, was kind of also let's say dangerous in a certain way. Because uh, now I can say it, but Xenia wasn't that she, she, she's a, a, a great, great actress, but not a great driver. So, <laughs> so because she used to, to automatic, uh, automatic gear. And, but I was obsessed to this Mercedes, this was red because it, the, I, I want the interior really red because of my idea of. This kind of in Italian we say utero, utero, but this this kind of the maternal. Um, well, let's say that this is a complicated. Um, uh, in English means really complicated to explain that, but 
uh, I was uh, I really want to have this car and it was an old Mercedes. So the, the only possibility to have a red car outside and red car inside was to have it with the normal gear. Mm. So with the normal gear was a bit of uh, was complicated because then uh, we had many scene in the real um, uh, with the real car like uh, people driving going home. So uh, yes, we, we had uh, we had some some issue. We had uh, an accident. We had an accident, but at the end of the day, I, the our goal was to and the movie and do it uh, also with the uh, with with uh, the the real that come inside of our of our movie the reality of the of the street so it was in a certain way we had some difficulties some some but at the same time those difficulties were really important to give truth to our movie so mm -hmm. if i had to come back I, I I I do it again. This kind of approach in a certain way. Yeah, no, it, it, it's it's fascinating because you'd worked as a director's assistant in the past with um with Gabriel uh, Machino. Um, so with that. And I think there was one other shoot before this. Like, what kind of, uh, yeah, like with the experience that you have and the exposure that you have had, like, what is the thing that, is, you know, is telling you that you can tell these type of stories, you know, and giving you the confidence to try these new approaches? But let, let's say I, uh, when I worked, on um, as an assistant of Gabriele Muccino, I was a bit younger. I was uh, 21, and uh, from him, I I think he's really good. Um, he has a, a really huge energy in uh, in um, with the actors. In, he really uses his body. We are Italian, so Italians like to use the hand, and so one thing that I remember from these experiences for sure the his energy to say even uh, action to to work with the actors to dance with them and this is for sure the the the, the main thing that I, I I keep from this experience. Okay, cool. And do you? Like, how do you um, kind of gain more kind of insight into this stuff? Is it watching films? Is it, you know, lectures, reading articles, you know, trying to um, work or talk with other directors? Like, what, what's the thing that kind of is helping you progress? But to me, is I have to say that the most important thing is reading. In a certain way, I really like uh, to read literature, and um, this is a way of keep my mind uh, in a certain way uh, trained to to uh, constantly having images. I don't know how it's like a way of direct your own movie when you read. More, more I have to say than than watch movies that is, is my, my greatest passion. But when you read, you make your own movie. So mm. me, I think uh, if I have to answer something, yes, the most important thing is uh, reading and, uh, and also travel and also stay like uh, reading and have this mix of staying outside, uh, meet new people, get fascinated about what happened around you. This is the most, uh, um, to me, eh, the most important stuff. Uh, I really like to watch movies. There are some movies that I really love, and I watch movies for my entire life. But, but 
if I have to say those two things, like literature and stay on the on the street, like walking and meet new people, new energy, new culture, this kind of stuff really fascinated to me. And I feel I feel my my you know my I feel like living and uh, the the energy to write again and to to yes to make the next steps. Okay. Okay. And what do you think, um, you know, when you, when you started, you know, you, you watch films and you had the idea that this is what you wanted to do, right? Was there a certain type of film that you were like, oh, I really want to make stuff like this? Or is it just, you know, you want to tell just different stories and genre and type doesn't really matter um, uh, yeah um, in, a, in a certain way I had some really huge experiences with movies uh, like I felt um, I really love to, to to watch movies and feel something that is uh, that you maybe can feel in life, but in a certain way you can control it because you can watch a movie in a theater, yeah, you, you have a time, and then you feel things. You see, this is a, a thing that, wow, to me was incredible. And uh, um, sometimes uh, I have to say that I still have this kind of, of big, um, big, uh, big uh, exposure to emotion through... Through, through movies um, and the, the, there are some authors that I love uh, a lot like Andrea, Andrea Arnold I don't know if you know but it is something that lately I had for example I, I start I remember when I was really little for uh, I was uh, in love with this movie called uh, Big Wednesday I don't know if you if you know it it's a, no. a movie about surfer, about friendship. It was not a not a um, art house or author in a certain way movie, but I think uh, it's a wonderful movie. And I started with watching this movie, and I felt things that, yes, yeah, for example, this movie is a is a, a movie about friendship, and then I have uh, in my life emotion related about friendship. So it was this kind. of always uh, this kind of conversation with life and movies in my mind start to say okay but i like it feel emotion and then maybe con convey i don't know if this is the right word convey no convey or like push the emotion inside of a story that mm. maybe you start to feel in life then going uh, well, when i grew up uh, i discovered abdelatif keshish uh, that it really play a lot with with uh, with life, the is, is the director of La Vida del Blue is the warmer, warmest color, and that to me is uh, really that um, um, yeah it, it can give me those feelings that I live sometimes in life, uh, and then Andrea Arnold, but I have many references in movie that that uh, yeah that give me the yeah the yeah the, 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 in a certain way the the idea to make my own movies, but yes. Okay, okay. And when, like, because it's, you know, it's the cinematography, the actors, just all of these things, but then subtitles, right? So what kind of say do you have in how they are depicted on the screen? In general, the subtitles in the screen. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the thing is that I really love to watch uh, movies in um, in the original language, like so. I understand that is uh, if you, for example, you, uh, not many people. Uh, uh, it's not like English that a lot of people know at least. Uh, um, understand English. The Italian is, you, 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 
you have the Italians and then uh, not uh, abroad, you don't have many people who understand Italian. So in a certain way, you, you need them. But I have my own way of... Uh, when I watch some movies also, for example, let's say in, in a language that I don't speak in Japanese, for example, I really like to, to, to watch it also without subtitle sometimes because I like in a certain way the sound of the words, the musicality mm. of the words, and I, I give my own interpretation of the thing. To me, mm, are not necessary, but I understand also that other people want to yeah, want, want to understand what they are saying and want to understand more uh, about um, you know uh, the story and all the stuff. But to me, if but is a really a personal way of saying. Uh, I say that. I also love to watch movies in a language that I don't understand without sub subtitle. But to me, the most important thing is that is in the in the original language without uh, double double it. Because personally, I think that there's a, a huge work of the of the actors to you know to, to, to give an interpretation to these words and. Having another one who giving another interpretation is a bit, but this is my way of seeing things. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely can see that. Now, for me, it's always a bit tricky because, you know, I have very bad eyesight. So reading subtitles is a nightmare most of the time. Luckily, with your film, you know, it's not. Um, like dense with you know words so it, it was easier to kind of track and all of that but yeah i i do you know sometimes there's what like you know white subtitles on a light background that is very hard to see and you know it does make it difficult at times but it's I, I do understand because a lot of times you get dub stuff and the voices that are used don't always seem to match the people. And that always drives me insane. Because I'm just like, at least get someone that kind of fits, you know, make try and make it work. It's just, yeah, it's always a, it's, I, I find it's an interesting thing. Because if if it wasn't for my eyesight. I would definitely be, yeah, foreign films in the language because there, there is that, I think there's a beauty in the way things are relayed. You know, there's like music, I don't, you know, I just listen to a lot of like Brazilian music, like French rap. And I don't need the translation because it's just the flow of the words yeah. and everything like Look. that that just works. It's that, you know, the way it all comes together. But yeah, with films, it's a bit, it's a bit hard, especially if you're trying to talk about the film. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> I follow you. Yes. Yes. I agree with you. Do. Yeah. Also, mine, in our case, is not that word driven as you, mm -hmm. you said so it's more like feel the thing so yes but i understand that sometimes uh, subtitles could be hard to read and to follow the images and the subtitles yes i can understand yes yeah <laughs> oh man um so with um you know with, with this film do you uh storyboard you know what i mean or do you kind of just keep it all up in here when you're thinking about you know the scenes and the flow of the film no no actually i i didn't i really don't like too much to do storyboard uh but i tried a lot with my director of photography, the movement, the point of view, the, the appointment that we had on the scene, on the gesture of the actors. So this, yes, we spent like two weeks 
to try and try again, all the movement, all the, those stuff. But I, I don't like to storyboard a lot. I've done, I've done it sometimes in, in other things because they asked me to do it. But if I'm free, I'm, I'm not a, a, huge, a huge fan of uh, storyboard. I'm a huge fan of trying the stuff, trying the movement, uh, maybe with standing, not with that, to be ready to... But storyboard is not, uh, in a certain way, my thing. Mm. Yeah. And with a story, because I always find short stories are very interesting. Because with a movie, you you know, essentially people, you know, you, it gets split into the acts, right? You have the beginning, the middle, the end, and, you know, however you want to structure it. But with a short, sometimes it's just a snapshot in time, right? It's taking a moment and bringing that to life. So did you think about when, when you were doing this, how much information the viewer needed to know and how much you can hold back? Yes, yes. Uh, the information stuff is, uh, yes, of course. I, I thought a lot about this stuff and I didn't want to give to the, to the viewer uh, too much information, but not. It was to find a, a balance, no, to less or too much, and uh, so I put it in in dialogue. Sometimes I put it in. I tried to put it as as I could uh, in the images, the information, and like in some gestures that are typical about. I don't want to say too much, but typical about. Sexuality, yes, but it just, the other way also um, maternal, no, in a certain way. So I try mm -hmm. to put the information, yes, on the dialogues, but I don't really love to put too much in the dialogues, the information, but mostly in the in the action, in the images that we watch in the movie. So this is, was my my idea and my goal then uh, hopefully i sometimes there are people that really understand what i wanted to say sometimes people really don't understand but to me at the end of the day the important thing is the you know the travel that you do for these 20 minutes with these two characters and that i hope that you feel something then if you understand exactly the thing okay it's good but also if you don't really, but you have the feeling that maybe, to me, the important thing is always like feel a little bit something through the through this short movie. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I think what we see is, is powerful enough that it just works on itself, right? But that the the the, the conversation that we start off with. That was just like so intriguing because then you you're just thinking things like the connection, of course. what like what is this? And so then that makes what happens even more kind of traumatic because of the 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 nuance of what possibly is there. Yes, of course. In in the first conversation you have in a certain way the key to understand all the all the movie and then uh, you have little let's say little keys spread in all the in all the movie that give you again the the what, what is the relation between them mm. but yeah the in the first scene you have the key and then to me the, the last scene is more powerful if you really understand what i want to yeah. Say. yeah 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 it, it's um yeah it was a very intriguing way to tell this sort of story because i think you know th there's definitely I, I i think with stories you know there's 
we've seen a lot of them, right? We've seen a lot of different stories told in a lot of different ways. So it's always intriguing to see a new approach. And I really enjoyed the way you you went about with this. You know, did you get any pushback from you know your creative partners to be like, ah, oh, we so I so I feel we need to tell more. Or you should have a scene at the end that ties it up, or you know, did you get anything like that? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, the the producer sometimes uh, tell me, yeah, but uh, we're not. Uh, we don't understand, and but I, my my crew, my my like let's say my creative partners, we were all in the same boat to go ahead with our ideas, and also we we we, we knew that there was a bit of also a, a, a danger in uh, because, uh, but um, I'm really. Uh, I'm really convinced that uh, that this this is my way of saying things, my way of telling stories, and and um, yes, I, I'm young and I'm not that I'm talking like uh, you know not, but for the moment uh, I, I'm really sure that I really don't. I hate to tell too much. I think the the audience have to uh, is good. I, I think that if I can understand it the audience is way more clever than clever let's say it's not about clever but they, they give the to the audience the the space the space giving a space to the audience to 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 to, to think to move to arrive to his own conclusion mm. also if not mine but to to give a space to the audience to me is really important and Give too many information is not my my way of my way of my way of, uh, of of saying things, but but yes, sometimes I had to argue, but with the, yeah, with my yeah, with my my creative let's say partners, uh, we we were all in the same with with the editor, with Massimo, which is the editor that I work with, we. We were always, always, always on on the same line too. Not too much, not too less. Go ahead, and, and we know that some, someone could could don't like our way of saying things, but it is our way. Yeah. No. I, I I think it's yeah. I you know. There's times when I think people give way too much right and it's just like the audience needs to be told you know we go from a to b to c to d and you don't always need that right there's a there's so many films which are kind of open at the end when you think of like inception and everyone's like oh did the thimble drop Right, and everyone's got their own take on it, and be like, no, no, at the very end, if you pause it, you see it drop, and something like, no, it didn't. Right, it's the end of Tenant. There's these films where the ending is a little subjective, and I think that really helps because everyone's got their own take, and you have these conversations, these debates, people write papers on it, right, and I think that helps give a film like this extra life, you know? So, yeah, yeah no, I, I, I think it's good the, the way this one ends because it is a little traumatic and I think it really makes you sit in that moment and really just think about, like, these sorts of situations. Yes, yes. Uh, my goal is that to arrive at the end and let you think about a situation that you could live that maybe you can relate it with and with the, but this is uh, as you said this is um, I like this way of of, uh, of 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 working and of this relations with the audience so 
give the audience the space in a certain way. Mm. Yeah, no, for sure. Now, um, like this film, you know, it, it's been getting awards and nominations. I think you're um, selected for the Oscars, right? Like, yeah. how the hell does all of that feel? No, is 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 really is good, and obviously, is I'm really happy about uh, the selections, about this Oscar running, uh, and it's something that I couldn't expect because it's something re really big. We, we are like let's say really little. We are we are we are uh, we are in in this car with our two characters and but uh, you know we we i, I talk uh, about me but also about all the crew we we we, we gave and all uh, the actors we we gave all, all we we had to to do it and uh, it wasn't that easy also to finance the thing because uh, we are talking about things that are not uh, really really like mainstream in a certain way so and also the way of doing it is not that mainstream but but yes we we we, we put all ourselves and those uh, those things are are good for us for say that okay maybe also uh, some other people can 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 watch it is those things are really good for let people watch uh, our work so in, in this way, uh, I'm and uh, all all the guy, all the all the friends, let's say, because crew is yeah, all, all the all the friends and the crew. We are really happy about those uh, those results, and hopefully we can get uh, even in uh, we can go even farther with the Oscar team. Let's mm. say. Yeah, no, that that would be incredible. That really would. Now, like, does this help, you know, give you confidence for the next project? You know what I mean? Like, let you kind of, there's, as you said, the, you, you tried different approaches. You did different things. It was hard to finance. But now you, you've had this recognition for the work. Right, like telling that next story, it must make it a little bit easier and give you confidence that the approaches that you utilized, you know, they work. So you can experiment, you can push things to that next level. Yes, in a certain way, yes, because you have uh, like a base where you can you, you can start again from and uh, uh, in, in every project you change a little things but uh, it's easier because when you talk it's easy to talk i want to do this because i'm i really i'm really convinced that this is a but when you have something that you can show this is my way of approach that because of that and in this one in the next one i want to start from that but i want to change these little things i want to discover always starting from some teams that I had there I want to do a, a, a next step because uh, in a certain way yes is, is a really a good uh, a, a good base to 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 to, to start uh, the next one also obviously is uh, hopefully will be will be an easier to finance the next one because this one had a good recon recognition good uh, good uh, yes so yes and also also for me is um, is uh, yeah give me a bit uh, of more confidence in what I, what I, what i do but it's all, all always is related to in a certain way to the next one i really want to do more things and discover and uh, yeah experiment and Yes, but is a re really uh, uh, you you need base because then uh, sometimes in movies you 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 always 
way to finance, to finance finance the movies and you spend a lot of times waiting 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 and sometimes you just lost the opportunity to doing it and ends up all in words and mm. you, when you have like a movie that you have done you say okay those my words those words that i start those images are in something forever and so you have this important base that is good base for the next one yeah yeah and um do you have an idea for the next project uh, yes yes i wrote already a, a, treat a treatment and we are uh, we are working on it and uh, and yes yes i have uh, an idea is uh, i'll say that three words is about desire um, desire and uh, adolescent adolescence uh, it's um, teenage teenage desire a bit of taboo and summer mediterranean island in, I, I will go again for a moment of a life. So like in this, we have six hours, then for a feature film will be a bit wider the, the thing, but still a moment and a period of the life. And yes, this would be a bit. And the idea that I'm working on, uh, I already wrote a treatment, a treatment and I'm. I really want to, to, to do in it, to work again. Okay. And yes. what is it about now, where you think, okay, the net like it's time for a feature? Yeah. It, it, to me, I I have to say that that I I never thought. No, oh, now I have to do a short. Now a feature. Sometimes in my mind come stories that are like good for be a short or long enough to be a, a, a feature. Of course, if you start, it's easier to finance a, a short. So yes, also your mind is not, not like crazy to mm -hmm. was the good period before to, to do a short, but now I have this idea that, that is and that is, uh, yeah, this is like uh, a feature. And uh, in a certain way, I don't uh, think it's a matter of, yes, of time, of days, but uh, the, the approach will be the, the same. It will be maybe more, yeah, not one week of shooting, but four, hopefully six, hopefully, I don't know. But, but uh, yes, it's just a matter matter of time but the approach will be exactly the same in a certain way and and yes oh man well yeah that's uh interesting that's very interesting man um you know after everything you've done with my eyes i'm definitely intrigued to see you know what you put together next you know like um are there genres that you you really want to kind of play in or or do you not think about that it's just whatever story comes to mind and whether that be a romance a drama a, you know a horror it, it it doesn't matter it's just whatever the story that pops into your head yes in a certain way it's like that is whatever story that uh, that I have in my mind, but I know that I'm not too much uh, an horror fan, so so I know that in a certain way it's difficult that in my mind comes like horror stuff. It's more like uh, it's more like uh, like let's say um, part of of also my uh, in a certain way my story something that I really lived. But you you can also live uh, horror stuff and horror uh, horror uh, horror uh, story in your life. But uh, yes, whatever comes in my mind. But I know that I prefer, let's say, um, like uh, 
like yeah like drama this kind of of story of stories more on my more on my way in a certain way but yes who knows i don't know i don't know i don't know let's see let's see what happens ah <laughs> oh, man yeah no this is yeah it's very interesting man must be exciting times for you um how can people keep track of you know the work that you're doing and my eyes and just you know everything like that but uh, yes uh, i have like uh, everyone um, like an instagram uh, an instagram channel i have to be honest I, i'm not a big uh, instagram user so every time that something happened mostly to the uh, to the movie to my eyes i publish on my instagram channel but uh, also on uh, facebook but uh, yeah mostly mostly on instagram and uh, also the the production company and the distributor like also always publish the the things but yes my let's say my instagram uh, my instagram channel is the um, where i publish all the news about the about the movie okay fantastic and um do you, are there any screenings upcoming that you might want to let people know about yes uh, we'll be in uh, la in los angeles on the 3rd on the 3rd there will be a promotional screener, screening for the oscar running and uh, um, there will be this screening i will publish of course the um, the screening on uh, I think will be a bit uh, pri kind of let's say private because we are searching for for um, yeah for uh, like uh, press reviews and all the stuff but uh, yes do, do, this will be there will be the um, the next screening uh, 3rd of November in LA I think 7 p.m. but I will publish on the Instagram channel and then there's a festival in uh, in uh, Ireland that uh, but I don't actually know when will be will be our screening then uh, will be in in Bul in Bulgaria in eastern europe there will be some some issue on the bulgarian cinemas in the uh, 2023 so yes, but uh, I will publish all on the Instagram, Instagram right. channel. All right, so you're going all over the place with this, right? No, uh, yes, uh, for sure in LA. Uh, I, I will be in LA, uh, but I don't know in, in, in the other place. I think uh, after LA, I really want to be focused on, uh, on the next one. So yeah, yes. Ah, well, Tommaso, man, um, I wish you all the luck in the world with this. I mean, it, it's already, you know what I mean? It's, it's already, like, just catching people's eyes, you know, the awards, the nominations, all of that, which is, you know, really great. And after watching it, I can see why. I can see why there's this buzz. So congratulations, my friend, and... Um, Hey, when you're ready to talk about the new project, hey, please stop by and let's have another conversation. Thank you very much, Kevin. It was really a pleasure to, to have this conversation with you. And of course, I will, uh, I will tell you and hopefully it will be soon. But th thanks again. Thanks uh, really again, Kevin, for this I, nice talk. Yeah. It was a no problem at all people um yes make sure you check out my eyes from uh, tommaso acurone um it's a it's a great little short you know really just intense intimate story so if you if it's playing anywhere near you make sure you see it i put all the links in the episode details tommaso and um yeah 
Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Ciao, Bye. Kevin. Alla prossima. Ciao. Bye.